manifestation, creating things. consciously is important. But it's not of primary importance. It is of secondary importance. Important enough, but there's something that's of primary importance And that is to become conscious of your connectedness with now, whatever term you want to use to point to it, your connectedness with, your oneness with that which transcends all manifestation, that which transcends the world of physical forms also transcends the world of mental forms, emotional forms. It transcends your identity as a person. To connect with that, connect implies a duality. So it's not really connect, but it's to become aware of your oneness with a deeper realm of being. And here, this is a good word being, to become aware of your essential beingness, your essential identity as the I am, which is a, not a con nothing to do with any mental concept. Mental concepts are also in the realm of forms, of mani the, the manifested realm, the, or sometimes in philosophy it's called the phenomenal realm. Uh, <clears throat> the, the, the realm of phenomena, things happen, they arise, they pass away, and then un interesting things continuously arise in your personal life and collectively. Uh, there's infinite creativity at work. <clears throat> Just listen to the news tonight and you see how infinitely creative the universe is in creating extremely challenging problems and situations. <laughs> <clears throat> the challenges ultimately seem to be a great obstacle in one's life, whether they are of, of a personal kind or collective kind, and sometimes the two cannot be separated. These often seem to be the greatest obstacle, but as you come to deeper realizations, you begin to see that the challenges are actually a necessary part of finding the path to transcendence. The challenges push you into awakening. They force you, eventually they force you to awaken. So it's all fine. The most important thing is the realization of the importance of being, which is also the foundation for any kind of manifestation you want to do. I sometimes use this weird analogy. It came to me years ago when I was in meditation. I, med I was in just in a space of thoughtless awareness for quite a while. Just sense the beingness of myself, which, which is one with the being of the universe. And then I opened my eyes and I started becoming aware of sense perceptions again. And it very clearly saw, I was actually sitting in a park in London <clears throat> many years ago. <laughs> And then I looked around, I saw the trees and people here and there, and the grass and the sky. And then this weird analogy or 
came to me that it felt like whatever, whatever I was perceiving through the senses was the skimmed milk. And what I had just come out of and realized was the cream. <laughs> that is being, everything arises out of the being. The being gives rise to forms. The being itself is formless. And so become aware of the cream and then you realize whatever you perceive with your senses, the phenomenal realm is the skimmed milk. It's, it's one with, of course, skimmed milk is not separate from the cream, it's just thin. <laughs> it's differentiated, kind of. There's other things in it, more water, but let's not get, take this too far, this analogy. This, there's the When, so when you realize the, the I am, and I'm not just, hopefully not just talking about it, because as I'm pointing to it, it may be possible for you to verify in your own experience, if only a little bit, what, verify what it is that I'm pointing to, so that it doesn't remain a mere concept. <laughs> 